Your Business Podcast with Frank Furness. Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Sales School. And this is Frank Furness, where we're going to help you make more money by mastering sales, dominating marketing, and really being happy. In the next episodes, we're going to be taking a look at the sales cycle, the actual sale, first, second call, relaxing the client. So, hey, enjoy today's episode. Okay, so we've done everything. We've gone in, we've done our whole presentation. Now comes the time to close. And this is where we've got to be looking at all of those buying signals. Now, again, we've got to be wide awake watching for those buying signals. It could be a change of pace. They speed up. Well, this looks great, Frank, and you speed up with them. They could slow down. Hmm. Interesting. You slow down with them. If they ask more questions, this is fantastic because if somebody starts asking me questions, this means they're really interested in the product or service. In their own minds, they're just clarifying, yeah, this sounds like the right kind of thing for me. I've just got a few more things. I need some more reassurance. And then there's the visual signals as well. You know, if they've been sitting with their arms closed or folded, all of a sudden the arms open up, they start sitting forward, the eyes start sparkling. So you've got to be watching all of those visual signals as well. So the examples are somebody starts to relax, all of a sudden sitting forward over there, hands on the chin, thinking about it now, becomes a lot more friendlier, becomes more enthusiastic, becomes more excited. You've got to be watching out for all of these buying signals. One of the other things you've got to do is you've got to know when to shut up. What do you do after asking a closing question? Shut up. The first person to talk is going to lose. Many years ago, I had one of my sales guys and he wasn't closing any sales. So I said to him, listen, I want you to go. I want your attitude to be amazing. Fantastic. He came in. His attitude was great. Didn't close any sales. I said, "Uh, I want you to make more calls. She was the first guy in. He was the last guy out doing so many calls. And he wasn't closing any sales. I was ready to fire him. And I thought about it. And I thought, let me actually go out and watch him in action. And I went to go and see him. I mean, he was working really hard. He was absolutely enthusiastic. The problem was he never knew when to shut up. He would get so excited, he just wouldn't stop talking. He'd speak the client into a sales, speak him out of it. And all it took was a little bit of coaching. Because you see, he didn't know what he was doing wrong. He was enthusiastic. He was doing all of the calls. He just didn't know that he didn't know how to shut up. A little bit of coaching went out again with him and it was quite funny we went out on the next call and we went to go and see a sales director anyway we're sitting with a sales director and I said to him when you ask the closing question shut up and he asked the closing question and he shut up and so did the sales director boy the tension in the room was unbelievable the sweat was pouring off him and he was glancing at me all the time over there I just sat looking up And eventually the sales director stood up and he said, I know what you guys are doing. You're playing the shut up game. I'm in sales myself. He spoke and he bought. Well, I really hope you enjoyed today's podcast. And remember, if you'd like to book me to speak at your next conference or do some sales training, either in person or via Zoom remotely, please drop me an email, frank at frankfurness.com. Also, please take a look at my website, frankfurness.com. And take a look at some of my courses on productivitycenter.com. Remember also to connect with me on all of the social media channels. They're all under Frank Furness, especially LinkedIn, where I'm almost up to 30,000. And every day I have some great new ideas and tips on sales, marketing, speaking, and anything that will make you money. Hey, this is Frank. See you in the next episode.